Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Knit Crate unboxing. I've got two of them to share with you today. One of them is a Sock Crate and the other is a Main Crate. So we'll get into that in just a minute, but before we do, I wanted to show you what I made from last month's Knit Crate. And the first one is this shawl. This is the Daxis shawl by, I believe it's called, uh, I believe their name is Paris or Landloft. Um, I do have a blog post on all of these items, so you can certainly feel free to check out more information on these projects there. And so this is what it looks like. It has this really cool geometric design that I'm not sure is coming across on camera, but there are a ton of rectangles going all through here. You can kind of sort of see it. And then there's a panel of stockinette on the other side. It's a really pretty asymmetrical shawl that is ginormous. I love this thing so, so much. It has gotten so much use already. And I just kind of wear it like a, you know, typical triangle scarf sort of thing. And yeah, I really like it. And then the other item that I, or items that I made from last month are the Cantalo socks by All Knit Up. They look a little something like this. And once again, I do have a blog post if you wanna see more pictures or anything like that. These have this really cool all over cable on them. And I just thought that they were so, so much fun, so quick to knit up. They do have that honeycomb heel and I love this heel. Um, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see it. There we go, there it is. Isn't that pretty? Ignore this little pearl row here. Um, I read the instructions wrong <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's not supposed to be there, but it is. So we'll just roll with it and pretend that I meant to do it. So yeah, I really, really like these socks. I don't block my socks. I'm sure that that's a no-no for some people. But um, yeah, I usually just wear them and call it good. So sorry for anyone that's cringing at my non-blocked socks, but yeah, I really like these. Plus these have a little bit of cashmere in them, so they are super soft as well. So um, before I take up too much time, let's get into these boxes. So I'm just gonna grab this one, it's on the top, and we'll see if I can open this um, I don't have a ton of time today, but I really, really wanted to get into these. So let's see if I can get this open. Okay, not the prettiest opening, but we got it open. And oh, this is pretty. Okay, so before I get into the box, uh, the theme is ice cream. The fresh neons and icy brights of this month's shipments will have you screaming for more. Celebrate the season with these popping primary tones with a twist. These electric hues remind us of afternoons spent poolside, energetic beach towns, and the sizzling heat of summer days. And it looks like that. It's so bright and colorful, and usually that's not my thing, but this summer I've really been feeling adding more color into my wardrobe, so that's really fun. And the color is so pretty. This is the Vidala sock yarn, softest sock. Oh, this is the exact same yarn that... Um, these Cantalo socks were knit out of. So it's got that 75% um, superwash merino, 15% nylon, and 10% cashmere. And this is in the colorway Chewies. It's such a pretty like, I don't know, this is the color I think of when I think of like outdoor pools. I love this so, so much. These are heavy skeins too. I am so excited to get those going. And then there are two designs in the main crate. So there's a crochet design and then a knit design. So the crochet design is by Kalura Hudson um, and it's lemon cello. It's a poncho that looks kind of cool. And then the knit, okay. So um, I've said this before that I usually go with the main crates. I do a crochet project and then I do a knit project and then I do a crochet project and a knit project. Obviously, this was knit. And I think I'm gonna to have to do the knit project here again too, cause oh my goodness. <laughs> this is by Tyga Hillard, and it's called Minty Fresh. It's a shawl. Look at that fringe. Can you see how pretty that is? Oh my goodness, I am so excited to do that. Plus all that lace work with leaves. I'm gonna to have to do that one. And so here it is 
in June, um, I am switching up my pattern and I'm sorry if I, the camera's shaking a little bit. For those of you that have been on this channel for a while, you probably know my cat, Cricket. He kind of, I don't know, he gets into things a lot. So apparently the tripod is the thing to play with today. Anyway, so that is the main crate. Let's get into the sock crate. Okay, so once again, not my prettiest opening, but let's take a look in here. So um, the first card here is pretty much the same thing as the main crate. Oh, and this is gonna be fun. Um, first, this hank of yarn is Knitology by Knit Crate, and it is in the colorway Mirrors. It's a superwash sock, so it's 80% superwash wool and 20% nylon. And look at that, isn't that pretty? It looks like, um, oh, what is that called? That kind of tie-dyeing with the ice. Doesn't it kind of look like that? I think that's really pretty. Um, and then the sock pattern is Joe Tor's Ski Slope. And this one, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but it looks like that. And um, of course, I always make up these projects, so if you're interested in seeing what these look like, make sure to follow my blog, which will be linked below, or come back here next month where I'm gonna be opening a couple more knit crates and I'll be showing you the finished projects here. So, oh, I'm so excited for these bright colors. They are gonna be so much fun. Um, as for right now, I actually have to go and pick up my daughter. Uh, I got done with work and saw that I had my, my knit crate, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna film this so that I can work on it tonight, and then I'll go get her. But um, yeah, I gotta go and get her now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, certainly give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!